So we've got one model which is the T6180 behind me. This tractor, um, like I say, runs purely on methane and this methane is stored on tanks around the chassis of the tractor. So we have nine tanks with position three at the top of the cab. We've got uh, four down here by the set and indeed two under belly. And those tanks are all commercially available so that we've bolted them onto a T6 tractor at this stage because this is a prototype. Um, and on from that, what we've done is been able to uh, use um, methane in gas form in those tanks at about 220 bar in pressure. And then of course that is piped into the engine where it's also under more pressure, becomes a liquid, and therefore um, we can have a combustion process that gives us that power. Okay. The engine block itself is um, a NEF engine, so it's a Fiat powertrain engine. Uh, NEF, part of the same engine family that's used in our T6 right up to our T7 heavy duty behind me. The six cylinder engine, and really it's the characteristics of the diesel engine, it's just the fact that it uses methane to power it. Um, how it does that is a, a combustion chamber, it's almost like a pre chamber above the actual cylinder itself, and that is where the, uh, the combustion process happens. There's no spark plug in there, okay, so it's like a pre chamber combustion. Questions have been asked really, I suppose, uh, how long is the autonomy of the tractor? So the tractor itself, it says down here, uh, carries about 300 litres, 52 kilograms of, of gas. This um, allows the tractor to have up to eight hours autonomy. Okay, and I say up to because if it's doing loader work, shifting material around the yard, it is going to last that bit longer than if it's doing heavy mowing or perhaps field operations in the field. So I would suggest anything between four and eight hours, depending on what the tractor's doing. The performance of the tractor itself, and if anyone gets a chance just to look on the other side of the board in front of me, the performance of the tractor is very, very similar to a diesel tractor at tier 4A. Okay, so the torque and power curves pretty much seem to see it bang on where they are, so there shouldn't be any loss in productivity for an operator. The big difference is that some of that torque is available lower down the spectrum, so maybe you don't have to rev the engine as hard to actually get that, that torque from it. Um, the tractor, like I say, T6 wheelbase, T6 chassis. It features exactly the same transmission as our T6 tractors today, so an electro command to power shift transmission. But I would expect that in the future, as the developments of this concept become uh, greater, we will be able to make this transmission uh, the engine to our auto command transmission as well, given us the ability to uh, let the two speak to each other. That's essentially the rundown. Um, just on a note of the methane, obviously the story behind the methane is, is that the whole biogas industry is growing. Um, it's something that we see opening up for sure. And indeed the emissions legislation side of things is getting tighter all of the time. So I'm pleased to say that this tractor will meet uh, stage five emissions with very little alteration, which sets us up very well for the, the next stage that's to come in 2020. Um, but of course there are, is a great deal of customer base out there that have sources of methane on farm. And as a result, this means that they can be essentially a uh, sustainable farm and, and energy self-sufficient. Can I ask, before I switch you all off, uh, are there any questions on what I've just covered?